My favorite line is, I don't give a damn about slavery and walk off. I gathered y'all because we were blessed enough to get away. And I don't know about y'all, but I ain't never going back. They killed my family, which destroyed me. They raped them, hung them, beat them, and I saw it with my own eyes. From this day forward, we create our own freedom. And the freedom they allow us every Sunday, by on us on white man, we never knew before we came over here. Bubba Ray, Uncle told him how to read, ain't that right, Bubba Ray? Yeah. And with that verse, with that verse you read, uh, that you, Deuteronomy. You, yeah, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28, 68 say, Israel will go into slavery for slave ships. Now, either we got some otherworldly twisted scheme, or we got some real spiritual going on here, brother. Real spiritual. We are the brothers of the house of the redeemed servant. Um, we are here in Oklahoma City doing our work. Uh, most High blessed us with a school, and we just wanted to let the people know that uh, you know we out here, and uh, Most High has uh, blessed our work, and we wanted to let you know what we about. First, let's get um, Isaiah chapter forty-nine. Verse 5. Matter of fact, we are the house of the redeemed servant, Isaiah 48, 20. Let's get that first. 20. Isaiah 48, 20. Go ye forth of Babylon. Do what? Go ye forth of Babylon. We're going to go ye forth of Babylon. We're going to take this ministry beyond Babylon. Come on. Flee ye from the Chaldeans. Do what? Flee ye from the Chaldeans. Come on. With a voice of singing. Declare ye, tell this, utter it, it even to the end of the earth. So this is what we're doing. We're trying to utter this to the ends of the earth. You know, and we appreciate all those that have been supporting the uh, House of the Redeemed Servant, Isaiah 4820. Um, we are in the, in the body and in the family of Masharah Yasha Allah. So we want to salute double honor to the elders. All right. So we want to send a special thanks out to our brother, Brothers from the Swords of Zion, all right? Uh, we are very much uh, appreciative of all your kind words and all the support and, and, and love that you've, you've given us uh, throughout the years. Um, also, uh, uh, the Army of Israel, uh, Brother Maharaka and uh, Gaboya. I just want to say, uh, you brothers stay strong, continue to do the work. Uh, the brothers from Ohio, the Ohio Israelites, Paraza, uh, Karataza, and uh, Nathaniel Allah, Elder Nathaniel Allah, we just want to say uh, thank you for all your great and kind uh, words and all your help that you've given us. Again, you know, we've, the Most High blessed us to establish a school. And uh, it's all through the work and the love and the things that you've done that helped us do. Also to the light of Zion and uh, to priest and Elder Kahan, we want to salute you brothers for, for what you guys are doing. 
uh, the House of David. We want to uh, salute you, and we appreciate what you're doing, man. This is, uh, we're getting ready for the summit. It's, uh, it's August 22nd in Columbus, Ohio. All right, so we're getting ready for that. We're going to be there. We're there in full support of what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a great and wonderful thing, man. So brothers can come together and, and develop trust with one another and develop an opportunity to get to know each other, man. So, um, you know, peace and blessings to all you brothers, the brothers from FOPE, peace and blessings to you brothers, the brothers from AOC, peace and blessings to you brothers, and all of Masharai Yashala, the brothers from um, uh, the Israelites in, in Houston of a biblical knowledge. Um, much love to you brothers, man, and, and, and to your other camps that spread it out to the four corners of the earth, doing the work in sincerity. You brothers want to say anything to Masharaya Shala? I just want to salute the elders. Appreciate the love and the support. Kwame well, Masharaya. Yeah. Keep the faith. Yah Bashim Yah Shah Barakata. Kwame Masharaya. Yah Bashim Yah Shah Barakata. All praise to the Abba now, we help by Shema Shaq El Shai, House of Redeemed Servant, sent in our new school. All praise to the Most High for the blessing that he bestowed upon us. All right, I want to let y'all take a look at what we got going on here. Follow me here. Follow me. All right. All praise to the Most High. I mean, these brothers come. I mean, the summit that might be sold, be held here at the house of the redeemed servant. Come on here, follow me here. Right? I'll pray to the most high power. You know, because I love area here. You know what I mean? We come and do our thing. We got the table here. You know what I mean? We got plenty more table, much more room. You know what I mean? We're going to be able to utilize here. You know what I mean? We got the house of the redeemed servant set up here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's got more eat. space. You know what I mean? This thing goes back here. Take a look here. This thing got another another side, another section over here that, that we're able to use. Come on, we follow me here. All praise to the most side. We got it. You know, we got a kitchen here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to get the baby to All right. We got to get it together. We got a kitchen here, folks in here eating already. All right, you know what I mean? So, all praise to the Most High for that. Right? Come on here, let me show you the other side here. All praise to the Most High. You know what I mean? Little dark, lights, another little section here that we have that we're gonna be utilizing this floor space. Area for children outside, so you know we just wanted to let you people know that we appreciate you know those that have been sending you know offerings to help the house of the redeemed servant. We are here to do this work for the Most High, and all praise to the Most High for what He blessed us with. But again, we got another access to the kitchen here. We got big face hundreds. We got this face outside the door. Karas the best, huh? Right. Ah, all praise to the Most High power. So, you know, all praise to the Most High for what he's done. Again, you hear me continually saying that because I'm excited about what the Most High blessed us with, man. So we appreciate it, man, all the love, all you brothers and sisters out there that's concerned about the house of the redeemed servant. Keep the prayers because we need them. And you guys stay strong. We know we're living in the last days, and the enemy is busy, all right? The Most High is allowing his word, his truth to go forth. So with that, I just want to say, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shabarach Atah. Kwame Yasharala, giving all praise to Abba Nawi Yahweh by Shema Mashiach. Who changed today? Was it God? No. Was it Jesus? People say Jesus is. No, he didn't. People say, well, it must have been the apostles. No, it wasn't the apostles. The Bible tells me, and my friend, this is as plain as the nose on your face. When I go through this great prophecy, and I, everybody agrees with every point, but when we get to this one, they say, oops. But oops won't do. The Antichrist changed the day. And my friend who is here today is going to come, and he's going to read, Mr. Vince Morton, he's going to come and read from the official writings of the 
as they call it, the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Listen to this. These are the unadulterated statements from popes and other Roman Catholic leaders. Our beloved father, Pope Leo XIII, said, We hold upon this earth the place of God Almighty. Our beloved father, Pope Gregory VII, said, One, that the Roman Church was founded by the Lord alone. Two, that the Roman Pontiff alone is justly called universal. Three, that he alone can depose bishops or restore them. Four, that all princes should kiss the feet of the Pope alone. Five, that it is lawful for him to depose emperors. Six, that his sentence ought not to be reviewed by anyone, and he alone can review the decisions of all. Seven, that he ought to be judged by no one. Eight, that the Roman Church never erred, nor will it, according to Scripture, ever err. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who can prove to me from the Bible alone that I am bound to keep Sunday holy. There is no such law in the Bible. It is a law of the Holy Catholic Church alone. The Bible says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Catholic Church says, No, by my divine power I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in a reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. T. N. Wright, C. S. S. R., in a lecture at Hartford, Kansas, February 18, 1884. The Catholic Church for over 1,000 years before the existence of a Protestant, by virtue of her divine mission, changed the day from Saturday to Sunday. The Catholic Mirror, September 23, 1893. Question, which is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea A.D. 336, transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. Peter Geierman, The Convert's Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, 2nd edition, 1910, page 50. Question, have you any other way of proving that the Church has power to institute festivals of precept? Answer. Had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change for which there is no scriptural authority. Stephen Keenan, A Doctrinal Catechism, page 174. There is but one church on the face of the earth which has the power or claims power to make laws binding on the conscience, binding before God, binding under penalty of hell fire. For instance, the institution of Sunday. What right has any other church to keep this day? You answer by virtue of the third commandment. The papacy changed the fourth commandment and called it the third, which says, Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. But Sunday is not the Sabbath. 
Any schoolboy knows that Sunday is the first day of the week. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who will prove by the Bible alone that Sunday is the day we are bound to keep, and no one has called for the money. It was the Holy Catholic Church that changed the day of rest from Saturday, the seventh day, to Sunday, the first day of the week. T. Enright, CSSR, in a lecture delivered in 1893. Thank you, Bishop.